Hey guys, Dr. Julia. I'm in the office on Tuesday doing some work and I wanted to shoot this video because I am finding out that I get messages from people's bodies in a really peculiar way. Um, it's not kind of a shock because I always say that the, every week there's like a new flavor of the week and people are in clubs they didn't know they belonged to, which is like pain clubs. Um, <clears throat> but I recently came upon um, the idea that plantar fasciitis affects people who have issues delegating jobs or chores or it could be in their work, could be at home. Um, <laughs> that sounds crazy, but it's across the board. And so plantar fasciitis is an emotional response as well as a physical response. Like obviously you have to make it true by like being on your feet and constantly irritating the plantar fascia. So plantar fasciitis is irritation or inflammation of the plantar fascia, which is like a thin band of connective tissue that goes across the bottom of your foot. And of course, if you are working, um, it doesn't even matter if you're at a desk or if you are uh, working on your feet, plantar fasciitis keeps getting basically re-injured every day. So when you use your feet, um, actually Josh, uh, my husband had it for quite a while. And then when he had shoulder surgery, he was like off his feet. Um, that's when he worked in the prison and that's when it kind of resolved. Um, but I think too, he is the type of, per like he's a really super hard worker and he's got a great work ethic. So, um, a lot of times I think he felt like he had to carry everything himself um, as far as like delegation. So um, it makes sense to me that it went away after he was on medical leave for like five months with his shoulder surgery. So, um, but he was also off of his feet. So it's like a combination of a couple of things, but I just like, I, I had two people in the office that it was kind of like a blazing sign for me. Like, whoa, this is, there's something to this. And so I kind of interviewed some of my other patients that have dealt with plantar fasciitis. And what's really interesting is the people that don't have it anymore or that found resolution, um, their resolution came when they were able to delegate things off of their plate and didn't have, to, or no longer have those things as responsibilities. Like, like immediate, complete resolution, you guys. <laughs> um, you know, getting your ankles adjusted helps and getting um, taped also helps, but dealing with your stress is like the game changer. So um, honoring your feelings, like just being aware that maybe if you have and you suffer from plantar fasciitis, look at like where you could delegate things that kind of aren't your favorite thing to do. Um, because your body is trying to remind you that if it's not in alignment with who you are, then you're not, your body, you're like not actually tolerating it. You're kind of annoyed with it. So your body will give you signals. Now it could be um, from an emotional stance, like every day you have to unload the dishwasher and dang it, you hate unloading the dishwasher. Like somebody help me, right? Um, if that really makes you angry, then that creates a stress response in your body, fight or flight. And so it will create, um, if you hate it enough, it will create a actual response in your body. Like we can make your body optimally function, right? Like chiropractic makes everything in alignment so that you can do the things that you want to do. Uh, but if you are not doing your part in dealing with your stress, like asking somebody else to unload the dishwasher once in a while, then, you know, that's, you've got to do those things. And um, asking somebody else to unload the dishwasher could be your self-care for the week, people. Like, you've got to honor your body too. You can't just ignore it and pretend like it doesn't bother you. Um, and I'm not saying that that's like... <laughs> the only thing that ever bothers anybody. But I mean, if there's people at work who don't pull their weight or people at home or your kids don't pick up after themselves when you've asked them a million times, like that's what I'm talking about. So 
finding better ways to cope with those things sometimes is the resolution. So like not picking up and just being like, if you don't pick up your stuff, nobody's going to. I would not be able to do that personally. I'd be like, ah, there's too much stuff. I have to pick it up. But find something for you. And you guys, I'm not saying that plantar fasciitis is always caused by people not pulling their weight. But I did want to say that this is really something I found. Like, if you are having delegation issues and you also have plantar fasciitis, maybe it's time to look at taking some things off of your plate either not doing them or handing them off to your assistant or asking your husband for help or wife for help or your kids for help. Um, those are ways that you can cope with it. So just wanted to send that message out there. Have a great day, guys.